Well, here we go guys. This is a Citroen Floreal, uh, C3 Floreal. Basically, it's only just finished a, a, a control technique, an M MOT, and the guy who did this test must have had a guide dog and a white stick. The opacity of these lights is just non-existent. Uh, I don't know whether you can see, there's a crazing all over here, almost like they've put a, a lacquer over the top. I don't know whether this is going to work, but what we're going to try and do is sand them down, clean them up, and see whether we can get them to work. Keep watching. Okay, so, I'm not sure if you can see this now, but you can see we've started to flat off of the uh, the top surface. And this is what we're seeing. Quite aggressive what I'm using. I don't think we've got a choice. So it's out with my trusty little sander and a fabulous little bit of kit. And away we go. Okay, so they can still see where there's like a rivers of looks like varnish or something down here so there's still some stuff more stuff to come out uh, a bit more sand in to come okay okay it looks like we've got most of the varnish off or whatever the product was so it looks reasonably smooth it's just now got to keep going until it comes clear again Okay, we're up to 800 grit and we're starting to see the optics back through. So it's now down to fine paper and we'll wet and dry it and then but run some compound over it at the end. Okay, we've just finished with the 1000 grit. All the lines that were there from the varnish seem to have gone. It's still not clear, but it's coming, so we're now on to 2000 grit. Okay, so we're now just finished the 2000 grit. There's still a few marks here, but uh, as you'll see, it's starting to really come clear. Okay, so I think I'm more or less finished. Tube of headlight restorer. looks an awful lot better than it did and I think the, it will be past the control technique if needed so when you compare it to this side and compare it to what the other side was an awful lot better I've just got this side now to do